basically, um, someone asked me on my Discord server, like, what my favorite class setups are. So I'm going to give you guys five to six of my favorite class setups I've been using on and off camera for videos, man. So first things first, I got my grind class setup. The names really don't matter. I just changed them all around. But basically, this one, I got some trolley class setups. I got some meta class setups for you guys. So yeah, first things first, if you guys want something to, you know, unique, different, right, to kind of spice up the games, Use the Battle 27 and then put on the Jack Death March conversion kit. And if you're wondering what the hell that is, what the hell is that going to do? It literally turns into a laser gun and on shipment and stash house, because this has no hip fire, like, you know, at all. And it's basically zero hip fire and it's going to always hit. You literally play domination or hard point and play objective and this gun's so classed. Like, it's just, it's just, it's absolutely meta. Not really, but like, it's just super fun. Look how accurate it is too, bro. From up close, obviously. But um, we got the Bruin Bastion Angled Grip. And if you're wondering what this was, gives us hip fire spread min and max, right? And then for the optic, I don't usually run an optic. I was just testing it out of something new, but this gives us minus 100 shotgun spread, so there's not a lot of spread. Hip fire uh, spread min and max, and ADS speed, which we're never going to use. And then for the stock, we have the Claret Light Stock, right? This goes absolutely hard. And then for the rear grip, we have the Hammer Grip. And this is the class setup. And if you don't like the optic, I would suggest um, most likely the Corvus PEQ Beam 5 and or this one. Whatever you prefer, whatever you like, right? And then with this, I've been running the Torque 35, which is the crossbow. I don't run any ammunition at all. I think it's absolutely useless. And for the tactical, I use stims. For the lethals, I use thermite, munitions box, and then my usual class setup, engineer vest, quick grip, covert, mag holster, and or ghost, and then compression plate, always. Bal is bay. Yeah, bal is good. Bal is good. Okay. Now for the second class, I've got another trolley class setup that you guys can use to annoy people. The bal... It's basically that as well. It just makes people say, like, what the hell? And for that, if you want to annoy somebody, a sweat, one of your friends, etc., etc., right? We have the Reclaimer 18 shotgun. And with the new conversion kit, the Jack Devastators, right? This gives us a Kimbo and Rico control. I've been rocking with the rear grip, center mass grip tape. Gives us sprint to fire speed, which is most important. And then for the laser, we're rocking with the point G3P04. Hit fire spread, hit fire max, all that stuff. And then for the muzzle, we have the Bryson Choke. Helps us with our hip fire and our shotgun spread, which is really good. Only four attachments, that's all you really need. I don't really like using the ammunition. But with this first and then second class setup, this is the best way to troll sweats, to troll other players, and just be toxic, okay? And for the handgun, we have the Wasp Stinger. And it's going to be the Kembo 32-round mag, X10 sidearm, L400 laser, and the light barrel, and the Zenum Compensated Flash Hider muzzle. All right. Yeah, this thing is a sucker punch. Okay. And then for the lethals and tacticals, tacticals are obviously stim. Lethals are a thermobotic grenade. And the field upgrade is the trophy system because I'm usually playing objective with this class setup and getting kill streaks and running score streaks. Right. And then for the perks, we have the infantry vest and then the tactical pads. And I'm not going to lie. Tactical pads and or lightweight sneakers with the uh, with the infantry vest actually make you super fast. Okay. So either lightweight and or tactical pads right quick grip gloves mag holster gear and compression plate gear okay so those are for the like two first toxic class setups then i want to give you guys some meta class setups okay because a lot of people have been asking me for it because i've been nuking so much because nukes matter that much okay for my mcw class setup right now this is for mp don't use this if you're in ranked okay please don't um if you want to sweat against skill-based matchmaking if you're going against a sweat right ladies and gentlemen you got to use this MCW class up. Don't use the conversion kit. That's only good in Warzone. Don't use any magazines with the MCW. It'll do plenty of damage with 30 bullets, okay? So starting off, we have the Quartermaster Suppressor, right? And then the barrel, the second line Mammoth Heavy Barrel. And this is going to give us range, bullet velocity, movement speed, and ADS movement speed. And it's only going to really tack us on sprint to fire speed. And then under barrel can be between three attachments. The Jack Slash, XRK Edge BW4 Handstop, and the Paracord Grip. I've been testing out the Jack Slash, and this thing does not move. And for the optic, I either use the Jack Glasses optic, the NIDAR optic, and then if you don't like either of those, either use the Slate Reflector and or the um, MK3 Reflector. Interesting, yes. Very interesting. And then for the rear grip, we have the RB Claw PSL Grip, 
right? Which is going to give us regal control, which really tacks on nothing, right? And let me let me show you guys how it performs, man, because this is just. Do you guys see it moving at all? Do you guys see it moving at all? Come on, guys, bro. So imagine like just up close, like you just you just aim in and you just kill people like that. You know what I'm saying? This thing literally in the bottom left, it shows all green, bro. It's that good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Renetti right in here. This is the best Renetti. CN Suppressor, Kamura Sephic Vertical Grip, 50 round drum mag, and the NIDAR model with the Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit. And here's my sweaty like nuke or I want a street class setup right here. So for the tactical, we have two stims right here for the lethal we have the sticky grenade and for the field upgrade we have munitions box then for the perks we have the engineer vest which will give us our field upgrade which is the munition box faster and give us two tacticals so we have two stims and then we run quick grip gloves covert sneakers ghost and compression plate so yeah this is my meta class setup for the mcw i just like the speed how it has no recoil and how just versatile it is within fighting you know i can fight from long range medium range short range and still move be quiet and also have ghost and compression plate for like the new current meta class setup that you guys want to be rocking it's probably the dtir 3060 right and i'm rocking with the quartermaster suppressor paracord grip and the extend 10 long barrel um i don't think anyone else is using anything maybe this one but i like to have movement on my ars so i have the movement speed one this one the extend 10 long barrel gives us range bullet velocity speed and ads movement speed which is really good 40 round drum mag and the jack glasses optic Okay, and I'm rocking with the sledgehammer, classic, like sweaty, you know, nuke freaking perks, and then the same tactical lethals and field upgrades. And then for the SMG meta stuff that I've been using basically the entire game, I've been using the Rival 9, which is my go to for even Warzone as well. Um, this Rival 9 class is just insane, bro, right? So we have the 40 round drum mag, XRK Edge BW4 hand stop, which is gonna give us movement and all that stuff, aim walking speed, especially. Then we have the Zenum Comsplate Flash Hider for the muzzle, which eliminates basically all recoil. Then for the barrel, we have the Rival C Clear Shot Barrel. I like SMG more, yeah. Same here, Project. But we have the Rival C Clear Shot, and it gives us range and recoil control. And it does hair our um, mobility, but it's MP, so why do you even need mobility? And then for the stock, we have the Marauder stock. And if you want movement, which I don't really think you need, Use the Bruin Flash V4 stock, okay? And then the Wasp Stinger, the best one, you know, same class sort of as before. Engineer Vest, and then this is for me, like, sweating to win as well. So I have the Trophy System as my field upgrade, but it's usually the same perks. Tactical Pads and uh, Mag Holster, Compression Plate, Quick Grip Gloves, okay? So all my perks and lethals and tacticals and field upgrades are usually the same. And most of my attachments, right, for the past, like, what, five class setups, they have been similar attachments where it's recoil for the muzzle, Movement on one thing, an extended mag, an optic, and a barrel. That's literally it, right? And then probably my most fun class setup when I want to have chill but use an SMG and fight up close and I'm just whiffing uh, close range is the FJX horse class setup right here. We have the Jack Scimitar kit. It's the conversion kit. It's really fun to use. Uh, a lot of people say it's worse than the actual regular one, but I just prefer the Jack Scimitar kit because I'm able to use no stock mod for the stock. Then for the rear grip, I have the low 9mm grip. It's just 9 meters. Uh, this gives you recoil control. Then for the optic jack glassless because, you know, it's flashy. And then the Zenum compensated flash hider for the muzzle. Like, it just does not move as well, if you were wondering. Right? Literally does not move. And if you want to put a suppressor, use the quartermaster suppressor. Because even then, it'll only, like, move a little bit. So, yeah. Then, same ass freaking Wastinger. Same tacticals and lethals, field upgrades, and basically the same perks as well. And yeah, those are my class setups that I've been using for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 to finish it off strong. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite class setup is.